Hi there, my name is Mike Briggs, and I'm here to talk to you about using TSO Logic software to create migration scenarios to build a data-backed business case for AWS. Once customer data has been ingested into TSO Logic software, you can begin to analyze migration scenarios. As a reminder, data can be ingested via an agentless collector installed in a client's environment on a single VM, or we can handle flat file ingestion with previously collected or existing data. To create a scenario in the TSO Logic software, you'll want to click the icon on the left-hand side for Cost Modeler, as shown here. Uh, at the top of the Cost Modeler, you'll always see this Cost with Current Provisioning. This is the on-premise estimate that TSO Logic has put together for this part of the environment. At the top of this page, you will see the on-premise estimates made by the TSO Logic tool, along with detailed provisioning and utilization details that will be used to guide the assessment moving forward. Here's a quick look at some of the data that is used when we create that future state modeling, a rich view of each VM, how it's provisioned, and how it was utilized. Quite often when you log into the TSO Logic software, there may be scenarios that are already created for you. To be able to see these, you'll just want to come to the cost modeler and make sure you click on shared scenarios. And if I scroll down a little bit here, we'll be able to look at uh, these cost modeling scenarios to AWS in comparison with the on-premise estimate up at the top of the screen. You'll notice this scenario has two figures listed. There is the direct match on the left-hand side and the TSO right-sized over on the right. Direct match is a lift and shift. This doesn't take into account any uh, utilization that was collected during the engagement, uh, and it's really a barometer and a starting point for what a lift and shift would look like, getting instances at AWS that were provisioned very similarly to what a client has provisioned on-premise currently. Over on the right-hand side, you'll see the TSO right-sized figure. This is where TSO has optimized the matches at AWS based on CPU utilization, RAM utilization, age of hardware and CPU, uh, SQL licensing, as well as core optimization where applicable. You'll also notice uh, I'm clicked on production on the left-hand side. All scenarios are uh, contextual in the TSO Logic software. If I wanted to see the development environment instead, I can select that you'll see these numbers will refresh for us here. We'll stick with prod and we can continue from there. Beyond the existing scenarios, you may want to create your own. And to do that, you'll go over to this right-hand side and click on Add New Scenario. Of course, you'll choose AWS. You'll get a number of fields that you can fill in to create this scenario. We'll put in a name. I'll call this Mike's Scenario. There's a number of details that you can fill in relating to region and purchase type. These are especially helpful if you're trying to create multiple scenarios and compare multiple types of purchases or multiple regions uh, for yourself or for a client. Uh, in this case, again, we can choose whichever we want. I'll leave US West Oregon. And for purchase type, you have the ability to choose a convertible reserved, standard reserved, or on demand with different terms. Further down, under Microsoft Licenses, uh, if you do not select any of these checkboxes, then any assets that are running SQL Standard or Enterprise will be modeled on a license-included basis, where the cost of the EC2 instance that TSO Logic is suggesting would actually include an SQL licensing cost as well. If you or your client is able to bring SQL licensing to AWS, we can select the Software Assurance and BYOL boxes. We can actually plug in real per core licensing costs to build up a great budgetary view in the TSO Logic tool. In some cases, it's helpful to note the AWS cost and assume that a client is bringing SQL, but not actually show that SQL cost in the software if it's already a sunk cost or there's an existing agreement. Uh, one helpful tip on that is to set up the scenario exactly as shown here. Tag Software Assurance and BYOL, but leave all the licensing costs as zero. And this assure, ensures that what TSO Logic will be showing in the scenario will only show AWS costing and not licensing that the client already owns. 
On the right hand side, you can adjust some additional features here, such as whether or not to include zombies, whether or not to include burstable instances or AMD powered instances in your outcome. Uh, as a note, including zombies in the assessment uh, would mean that we're including machines that had extremely low utilization or no utilization for the course of a TSO logic collection period. These are typically devices with under 5% CPU utilization. Uh, we tend to see that they may not need to migrate to AWS as we often see templates, clones, uh, and DR machines, all of which can be handled a little bit differently moving forward. If a client has specific storage requirements, there are storage match targets that can be selected. Otherwise, the throughput optimized and general purpose will be the defaults. And one helpful item for uh, planning for growth, planning for seasonal or cyclical workloads is the right size compute provisioning you'll see at the bottom of the screen here. If a client would like to scale up the CPU or memory to allow a bit of a buffer, some headroom, or they simply don't feel like we've collected data at their busiest time of year, you can add a extra 10 or 20 or more percent to the CPU and memory that TSO Logic would suggest. Once you're happy with everything that you've set up in your scenario, you can click Save. You'll be able to look at your brand new scenario in the TSO Logic software. So I'll click on My Scenarios, be able to see what this looks like in this case moving forward. For any scenarios in the TSO Logic tool, this small box beside the cost uh, is how you'll do an export of data. This is a rich export of each server listed with its business groupings, whether that's environment data or workload mappings, uh, as well as the provisioning of the machine on premise, the utilization patterns observed on premise, as well as the match that we've suggested at AWS. Uh, so it's a really helpful guide both for uh, clients to keep and review moving forward to get an understanding of what the matches could be and also to build out a full business case using some rich data. Appreciate your time. Thank you for watching this TSO Logic video. If you'd like access to TSO Logic, please contact your AWS account manager or partner development manager. And if you need additional support creating scenarios yourself, please reach out to your TSO Logic contact. Thank you.